This is it, lads. The defining moment of our lives. The reason why we were born in the first place. Today, lads, we're going to make Kerry history. We're going to get that sham. I hope you're ready, lads. Oh, you look mad ready. This is the very reason that we were put on this earth. This isn't acting a goat anymore, lads. This is war. And we are soldiers. This is not a jersey. This is a uniform. Decorated in medals. And honour. Blood. And sponsorship. I'm not going to lie, Eds. Digs will be thrown. Pick it. You're going to have to take a few wallops in the stomach and... To be honest, I don't think you're going to make it home in time for dinner. But all I know is this, lads. Without Kerry, Ireland would be a lost lump of rock. Wandering aimlessly around the Atlantic, looking for its purpose. Like a horse without its hooves. And today, lads, we're going to fight for that purpose. We are not just fighting for a cup. We are fighting for the survival of all Donegal people. I cannot promise you will come back alive. Or at least without a fractured skull or two. Or back into the arms of Mary from Dunlow. But know this. Without Donegal, Ireland is just a beautiful woman without a face. Unrecognisable to America and Iceland. Because they're fairly close. And should we win today, lads, it'll no longer be known as an All-Ireland Final. But as the day when the world declared in one voice, we will not go quietly into the night. Yeah! Gold. Kerry will not vanish without a fight. We're going to live on. We're going to survive. Today, we celebrate our Sham Yeah! Come on, let's go to the office. It's close half an hour. Aye. Fight, and you may lose. Run, and you may live. At least a while. And drinking in McGinley's bar many years from now. Would you be willing to sacrifice all those days from that day until now? For one chance, just one chance, to come back here again as young men and face your enemies and tell them that they may take our lives, but they will never take our Sam McGuire! Yeah! Oh shit, I've got a dentist appointment at 4 o'clock, come on. Looks like we have ourselves a situation here, lads. We'll give you one chance to walk away. Be good boys, go home, and no one will get hurt. The only walking we'll be doing is over the corpses of the Kerry men and their King Puck Goat on All Ireland final day. That Sham Maguire belongs to the Kingdom of Kerry, not to a bunch of yoga practitioners from Tyrconnell. Walk away now, or we'll slam dunk you to the floor like we did with Mayo. That cup belongs to Donegal, and we are the true High Kings of Ireland, and by far the better team. And yoga makes us more flexible. Walk away now, or we'll do to you what we did to Dublin. Hang us out to dry. You've no idea what you're up against. Us Kerrymen were bred from the belly of the McGillicuddy Reeks, and born and birthed from the epicenter of the Gap of Law. We can't be stopped. We won't be stopped. Donegal men are the spawn of the Derry Vey and Bluestack Mountains, with a bit of muckish bog and Ergol rocks thrown in, and therefore far more hardcore than use. We can't be stopped. Not today. Not tomorrow. Not even yesterday. I, I can't even listen to that accent. It's, it's pure depressing like. That cup is the holy grail of the GAA. And I will be damned if I see it in the hands of a smelly killybags fisherman. Besides, it'll have better crack and carry anyway. The only crack Kerry has is the crack that you're all smoking down there. Scrape that dung from the ears and listen to the inspirational team talk of Jim McGuinness. That cup doesn't belong down there in that tourist office you just call a county. Come on, lads. Let's go get that cup. Yeah! yeah! Oi! Chalaxes are cactus, big cool cheeses. I'm after rigging the pitch with explosives. 
Tony Galt hinkt da better. And they're after making me bitter. Go near that sham. And you'll get the legs blowing off you. Yes. Come on, lads. Let's get that cup. Are you willing to die for Donny Gall? Yes. Hold on. I'm not sure that cup's worth dying for. If you don't do it, I'll tell Teresa you put those videos of her up on the internet. I'm only joking. Of course I'm willing to die for Donny Gall. Yes. All right, lads. Are you willing to lay down your life for Kerry? Uh, not really, like. What? Well, if you don't, I'm going to tell Lisa you fancy her mother. All right, I'll do it so. All right, lads. Come on! No, no, no! Don't tell me no! Don't tell me no! Burn, Come on! Burn, burn it! The more you do that, it'll die quicker. Oh, Jesus! I want you to tell. <coughs> I want you to tell Marguerite. I won't be able to go to the Rosa Tree later this year. Oh, man, you're talking nonsense. The Rosa Tree is pure shit. Burn it. The Rosa Tree is pure class. <laughs> Let's go get that cup. <laughs> it's not your time to die. That's what's up, I want you to have my dangle as well, so It's okay, I already have them all. Not the live person from Mother Hell. It's amazing. <laughs> no! No! Come on, let's get the cup! I think we should call an ambulance. Oh, yeah.